are you ready to unlock the power of vector graphics? In this tutorial, we will take you in a journey to create stunning vector artwork by using PhotoBeat. Vectors are a game changer in the world of design. They allow you to create scalable and editable graphics with precision and flexibility. And with PhotoBeat, you have all the tools that you need to unleash your creativity. Once you have opened up the PhotoBeat, now let's import the picture that you want to make the vector of. I have this image with me. I'm going to place it on the PhotoBeat. This is just a picture and I want to create this picture as a vector. Now to create a vector of this, you need to go to the image and here select the vectorize bitmap. Once you click on it, you will have this image. You can increase or decrease the number of colors from here. You can also reduce the noise that you can see this is here. If I click on it, this will reduce the noise in the image. Here, if it's a cartoon, you can select the cartoon for the vectorized image, or you can select the photo if it's a photo. Make sure you merge the colors, and now click on OK. And now we we'll convert our rasterized photo into a vector. You see, these are all the parts of the vector. If I hide this, you see all of the outlines are hidden. If I hide this, you see all of this part is hidden. As you can see, all of these areas are selected and converted into a vector form. Now, now to save this as a vector, you need to go to the files, here export as and select the SVG. Here select the SVG format and then click on save. You have downloaded the SVG format. Now let's move on to another picture. I have this image, I'm going to place it right here. Let's close this one. Now create a vector of this, select this image, go to the image, and then click on Vectorize Bitmap. And there you have it. You can reduce the noise by just clicking on this, and then click on OK. And with this, we have converted our Astronaut's image to a vector one. You can scroll down again, as you can see, you can select this one. As you can see, you can select this one to create outlines or in the outline as well. And once you're happy with your design, it's time to save it. For that, you need to go to the files. Here, select the export as and click on SVG. Here, select save. And there you have it. Now you have created a vector by using the photo P online editing software. If you have any questions regarding this, do let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you like this video, make sure to leave thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.